Hi everyone. In this video we're going to discuss how to find vertical and horizontal asymptotes as well as holes. The first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to learn how to find horizontal asymptotes. Now to find horizontal asymptotes you have to know these steps as well as the rules. The first step anytime you want to find a horizontal asymptote is you need to find the highest degree on the top and the highest degree on the bottom. Then once you find the highest degree in the numerator and your denominator well, you're going to compare your degrees. Whenever you have your degree on top being less than degree on the bottom, it's always going to be that your HA, short for horizontal asymptote, is going to be y is equal to 0 every single time. When you notice your degree on top is greater than your degree on the bottom, that means there's going to be no HAs. And then lastly, when your degree on the bottom is equal to your degree on the top, meaning they both have the same exponent, the highest exponent, you're going to divide the leading coefficients, meaning the leading numbers. Those are the three rules that are going to help you figure out how to find your HAs. So step one, always find the highest degree in the numerator and denominator. Step two, the degree on the top, when the degree on the top is less than the degree on the bottom, your horizontal asymptote is going to be HA equals Y equals 0. When your degree on the top is greater than the degree on the bottom, there's no HA. And when your degree on the bottom is equal to the degree on the top, you're going to divide the leading coefficients with the leading numbers. So we're going to take a look at a couple of examples. So our goal is we want to find our HAs, our horizontal asymptotes. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask myself, well, what is the highest degree on the top? You'll notice that the highest degree on the top is a 3. And then I'm going to try to find the highest degree on the bottom. Well, the highest degree on the bottom is a 2. So because my top is greater than my bottom, if we go back to the rules, that means that there are no HAs. There are no horizontal asymptotes. Anytime your degree on the top is greater than the degree on the bottom, there are no horizontal asymptotes. So then we're going to take a look at the next one. We'll notice f of x equals x minus 1 over x squared plus 5x plus 6. Well, my goal is I need to find the degree on top. But there's no actual exponent. There actually is. There is an invisible x to the first power. So that means that my degree on top is a 1 and my degree on the bottom is a 2. So that means my top is less than my bottom. Anytime your top degree is less than your bottom degree, your horizontal asymptote is going to be y equals to 0. Then lastly, 3x squared minus 5 over 4x squared plus 6. Well, notice that my degrees are both 2. So because my degrees are both 2, what I have to do is I have to de divide the leading coefficients with the leading numbers. So I'm going to look at the numbers that are in front of my x squared and in front of my x squared on the bottom, which are 3 and 4. So my horizontal asymptote is going to be y equals to 3 over 4. And if you can simplify, you're going to simplify. If not, then that's your final answer. So if we take a look at it again, our degree on the top was bigger than the degree on the bottom, which meant that top was greater than the bottom, which meant that no horizontal asymptotes. So the second one, your degree on top, which was a 1, is less than the degree on the bottom, which is 2. So that means that your horizontal asymptote is going to be y equals 0. Then lastly, when you notice that your, your exponents are both the same, you're going to divide the leading numbers, the numbers in front of the exponents and the variable, the leading coefficients, 3 over 4. So that means my horizontal asymptote is going to be 3 over 4. So now we're actually going to go ahead and find our vertical asymptotes, horizontal, and our holes. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is, well, let's find the horizontal asymptotes. Well, so you're going to find your degree on top and your degree on the bottom, and you'll notice that both degrees are 2. So when your both degrees are 2, you're going to divide the leading coefficients, which is 1 over 2. So your HA is Y equals to 1 over 2. Now your next step is, well, you have to find vertical asymptotes. But anytime you have to find vertical asymptotes, you need to factor out your equation. 
So when I have x squared minus 2x, I want to see if I can take something out or if I could just factor it or is it just simplified already. Well, notice is they both have an x, so I'm going to take out an x. So I'm going to have x and then an x minus 2. Then I'm going to try to factor out the bottom. When I factor out the bottom, I'm going to get 2x squared minus a 9. But then I'll notice that I can actually keep going with this. I can make this x parentheses x minus 2 over 2x minus 3 x plus 3. So anytime you're trying to find a vertical asymptote, you always want to factor out your equation. So once it's factored out, I'm going to see if I can cancel anything out. I can't cancel anything out. There's nothing that looks the same. So my next step is, well, I want to find my VAs, my vertical asymptote. In order to find your VAs, what you're going to do is you're going to set the bottom equal to 0. And since it's already factored out, all I'm going to do is I'm going to set each parentheses equal to 0. x minus 3 equals to 0. x plus 3 equals to 0. So I'm going to get x is equal to 3 and x is equal to negative 3. So that means that my VAs are at x equals 3 and x equals negative 3. In order to find your VAs, you always have to set the bottom equal to 0 after you factor out. Now, in the case where if there's a hole, there's only going to be a hole if your parentheses on the top and bottom cancel out. If anything cancels out on the top and bottom that has a variable in it, it's going to create a hole. In this case, nothing canceled out, so that means that I don't have any holes, but I do have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1 half because my degrees are the same, so divide the leading coefficients. And then after you factor it out, set the bottom equal to 0, and you get VAs at x equals 3 and x equals negative 3. So we're going to look at one more example. x squared minus 16 over x squared plus 2x minus 24. So the first thing that we're going to do is, well, let's find our HAs. Let's find our horizontal asymptotes. I look at my degree on top. It's a 2. I look at my degree on the bottom. It's also a 2. So that means that I'm going to divide my leading coefficients. 1 over 1. So my horizontal asymptote is going to just be y equals to 1. My next step is I want to find my VAs, but I have to factor it out. So I notice that this is a difference of squares. And then I'll notice that I can factor this out. Then I'll look and go, well, can I cancel anything out? If you notice, they both have an x minus 4 and x minus 4. So when that happens, that's going to cancel out the equation, which means that this is going to equal to just x plus 4 over x plus 6. Now, once I have this, my next step is, well, let's find our VAs. Well, the only thing that I can set equal to 0 is the bottom, so my VA is going to be x plus 6 equals to 0, x is equal to negative 6, and that's my VA. So I have my horizontal asymptote, and now I have my VA. But because an expression canceled out, that means that there was a hole. In order to find this, what you're going to do is you're going to set the one that canceled out equal to 0. x minus 4 equals 0. Find x. x equals to 4. At x equals 4, there's a hole. But the thing about a hole is that it's an actual coordinate. So they're going to ask you, well, find this coordinate. So once you find the hole at x equals 4, you're going to actually plug this 4 into this simplified equation, and that's going to be your hole. So let's plug this in. If you plug in f of 4, that's going to give you 4 plus 4 over 4 plus 6 which is going to end up giving you 8 over 10 so that means that your hole is going to be at 4 comma 8 over 10 so the only time that you're ever going to get a hole is if you're able to factor out and then cancel out two expressions now once you cancel out the expression set that equal that expression you cancel out equal to 0 solve for that x and to find that hole, you're going to plug in that 4 into the simplified expression, which I did here. Now, the answer you get is going to be your y. And remember, your hole is an actual coordinate. Okay? Thanks for watching.